Alright, good morning. So, where we left off last time, we did some reflections um, over the Y and X axis. Now, we'll do some reflections over just some horizontal and vertical lines anywhere on the graph. Alright, so we have triangle JKL. Let's graph that out. J is the point 1, comma, negative 1, right there. Um, K is 2, 3, and L is 3, 1, 2, 3, comma, negative 2, so over here. Okay, so we got J, J, um, K was over here, and then L. Okay, and let's connect the vertices. Just like that. All right. So our um, line of reflection is the equation x equals 4. So what's going on there? Well, all it really means is, if you remember from algebra class, let's see, let's do orange. All right. So go to your x-axis to 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Right there. And let me get rid of this. Um, just got to move it because that's where I'm going to draw my line of reflection. So at x equals 4 on your um, x-axis, then you draw a vertical line like that. And the way I always like remembered to do this is like, all right, the equation is x equals four. So like at every point on this, on the line I'm drawing, the x value needs to be four. So like this coordinate is zero, I mean, sorry, four zero, four comma zero. Oh my gosh, all right, uh, this point is four comma one two three four five so four comma five this point is four comma seven you know so like whatever line i draw for x equals four the x value always has to be four that's how you know you're drawing it right the x value is always four it's every it's the line such that every x value is equal to four that's just how I remember it. All right, so that's our line of reflection. Now, it's basically the same procedure. So look at the point K. It's one, two spaces away. So I move another one, two spaces over. So that will get me to point K prime. K prime. And again, it's because if we go from K to the line of reflection, there is a value of 2. So from the line of reflection, a K prime has to have a value of 2. This is carrying over from last lesson. It's basically the same idea. All right. So J is 1, 2, 3 spaces from the line of reflection. So I have to move another 1, 2, 3 spaces. So J prime is right there, J prime. And then L is one space away, so L prime is gonna be one space away as well. Right here, L prime. All right, connect these vertices and we can get a clear picture of what's going on, like this. Okay, that is our reflected triangle. It might be a little hard to see with all this stuff going on, so I'm going to delete the lines connecting the pre-image to the image. Yeah, let's get rid of all that. Oh, here we go. And now we can kind of see a bit more clearly yeah, like this is being reflected over that line x equals 4. Hopefully, not too bad. All right, let's try another. I'm going to skip around. Let's get rid of that. All right, let's try this out. 
skipped over to the triangle one because triangles are three points and they're just easier to do. So, all right, let's look at this triangle M and P. So let's graph that. M is negative six, negative eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, negative eight is down. Let me count it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, here is M. N is negative one, negative six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And P is negative two negative eight so right there okay p and this was n all right let's connect these vertices like that okay so now our line of reflection is y equals negative five so on your y-axis, go to negative 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, which is right here. That's where my line of reflection is going to be. And just like how when it was x equaled some number, I needed every value on the line to have an x-coordinate of whatever that number was. Now the line I draw here has to have negative 5 as its y-value on every point. So... What that looks like is a horizontal line. I'm going to try to draw a little bit bigger. Yeah, wrong color though. So like this. So if you look at every point on this line, it will have a Y value of negative five. That's how you know you're doing it right. And this is my line of reflection. Okay, so same procedure. Count the distance from the, the, the pre-image is to the line of reflection. So we let's start with M, one, two, three. So that means the image is going to be one, two, three on the opposite side. So just like this. M prime. Okay, let's do P, which is also one, two, three away. So P prime is going to be one, two, three away over here. Okay, here we go. P prime. And then N is one space away. So N prime is one space away too. So N prime is right there. N prime. Now connect the vertices. Just like this. And there we have it, our reflected triangle over the equation y equals negative 5. And that's pretty much it. There's nothing really to it, just besides remembering from Algebra 1 how to graph these equations. Other than that, you're just, you know, make, counting out the distance, making sure the image is the same distance away from the line of reflection as the pre-image is that's it just on the opposite side